For the look, for the rub, nigga, I gotta be safe. But Severino will be pitching for the Yankees. Chris Carter, what are you watching for in today's game? All I gotta change my Pilates class to make sure I'm free for this. Not gonna go to the stadium and everything to, to, um, today and everything, but this should be a great series. Game number three is always a pivotal series uh, uh, game, especially when it's tied up one to one. Yankees coming back home after losing the momentum they created in game number one, Nick. Are they able to? Now, I love the 4 o'clock start. Join us at 3 o'clock for the pregame, but the game starts at 4, Nick. Yeah, I love that start in the world in, in the championship game. Like, Listen, the winner of this series is going to go on to play the Nationals. The Nationals essentially won the NLCS last night. The Yankees can win this series without winning this game. I do not think that is the case for the Astros. The Astros have to win their Garrett Cole okay. start in Yankee Stadium. Game 4 is probably going to be a bullpen game for the Astros. Game 5, potentially Zach Grinke, who has struggled in the playoffs thus far and has not been great since the acquisition. To me, this is a must-win game for Houston, that if the Yankees steal, they become the prohibitive favorites in the series. Going to be tough, though. Garrett... Fifteen and two thirds. Who's your favorite in this game, Nick? Astros by far, because of Garrett Cole. Twenty-five strikeouts in fifteen innings. I think he's allowed one run. Many people think whoever wins that series wins the World oh, Series. Oh, this is the World Series. On to the NFL. Last night, the Packers beat the Lions. They improved to five and one on the season. Green Bay turned the ball over three times, fell behind thirteen nothing, and still ended up with a W. Nick, how impressed are you with how the Packers are playing? Listen, the Packers are living up to a lot of the preseason hype. Some had on them. I, they, and they're doing it without the passing game being the featured part of their offense. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's because of Matt LaFleur or Aaron Rodgers. I think it's because of the injuries, Devontae Adams most notably. But I mean, yesterday, you saw uh, Jamal Williams come back from the concussion. He had a great game. Yep. You saw the defense be able to hold mm -hmm. the inside the 10-yard line multiple times. Obviously, one of the big stories is the blown calls. But the yep. Packers put themselves in position to stay within reach after a disastrous start to get to 5 and Absolutely. The conversation the best in the NFC with them in San Francisco. It should be exciting. I love that the Packers can win a different way. You mentioned the running game. Now they have two running backs yep. that they can depend on. And a lot of that comes from Matt LaFleur. There in Tennessee, we know that they ran the ball. The passing, though, is something to watch. All right? Because last night, man, they struggled throwing the ball for a while. And not who is who throwing it. It's who he's throwing to and the lack of confidence in it. Hey, that's... That's what happened when uh, when you ain't got Adams out there, and they other good wide receiver. It's just like you make it to the league, you gotta learn how to catch the football. Ain't no way you make it there that far, and you're not reliable. He throw a deep pass to one of his um practice squad wide receiver. He almost dropped it. He had to get contained so he could keep that touchdown on the board. Ain't no way that you make it there and you can't catch. Ain't no way. It's got to be something they see at practice that make you be there. Like when it's time to step up, you got to step up. When somebody get hurt, only is it going to hurt them because Aaron Rodgers don't really have that much chemistry with them. That's why it's going gonna, it's gonna to hurt them in the long run if they don't, got, they don't get Adams back. And they other guys out there, I can't think of his name right now, if they don't get them two back, it's going to hurt them because you, I understand that's Aaron Rodgers, but you can't keep falling behind because it can't hurt you. Don't get me wrong, Packers are a good team this year. Long as you got Aaron Rodgers, you're good. But you can't keep falling behind and think it's going to always happen like this. But that, that win last night, there was horrible calls. The referees caught a horrible game. There weren't no flags against Detroit. They called some hands to the face. And you clearly see the hands on his shoulder. Bad call, but you can't take nothing away from the Packers. They capitalize on them, on them, on them penalties. 
Detroit lost the game because they kept settling for the field goals. And you can't do that when you play against Aaron Rodgers. You can't do that. It's going to hurt you and you're going to lose. And it's show. Star wide receiver Mari Cooper's availability for Sunday's game against the Eagles is in question. That due to a thigh bruise last season in his two games against the Eagles, Amari posted 16 receptions for 292 yards and three touchdowns. You see, how tough of an injury is a thigh contusion? Well, the thing with Amari, and, and I've been watching him since he was in high school, um, he's not a wide receiver because he's so shifty in his change of direction. If he has a leg injury, He's typically affected more than some other receivers um, that, that I'm familiar with. So I would be concerned about it. And when Amari's hurt, man, it's like Tyron Smith. They're a whole different offense. It's like um, Gallup is not ready to be step up to be the number one guy. Because only is it gonna affect only is it gonna affect them because he's a great route runner. He could create separation. From the DBs. When you don't have him out there, the offense is not going to malfunction right. Like Chris Carter said, same thing with Tyron Smith. It's a different offense when you don't have them two. Especially a lot of people that can create separation and make your job easier when you don't have him.